in this world do we get to say a proper goodbye, but I'll never forget the sight at the Hockey Hall of Fame game in Toronto last week when there was Daryl Sittler sobbing uncontrollably as he stood next to Borja Salming because he knew that the end was near, and sadly, the end for Borja Salming came yesterday as ALS claimed him at 71. Mick, you played with him. Kenny, you grew up in Toronto watching him. Mick, I'll start start with you your thoughts on the passing of the great oh, Borja Salming. you know it's, it's such a dreaded disease that thing and it got after his lungs apparently it has two different ways to go when you go to the lungs you can't talk right away and that's what happened to Borea. I can remember Borea Salming. you can put the numbers in front of anybody and it shows how great he was but what I remember the most about Borea Salming, he absolutely took a pounding and a beating and a killing when he came over here from Sweden early the Swedes don't fight everybody knew that he wouldn't do it like most of them wouldn't and they took advantage of that I remember one time Solomon got cut in the face for near 100 stitches it was unbelievable it was Paul McLean's skates unbelievable and Doc Finley would come in here when Borea came in the next year Doc Finley who patched him up with the Red Wings went in to see how his artwork was and he oh. said oh I did a good job a year later Borea he was I mean he just took a pounding and a beating and never ever took a step back John he was an incredible yeah. athlete right from day one and what a what a sad loss Borea Salming is he took it from the uh, the Broad Street bullies the Flyers the big bad Bruins you know what he took the punishment and he gave it back and I'll finish with this thought because I was at the 76 Canada Cup when Borea wore number five for Sweden was playing for the Maple Leafs it was at Maple Leaf Gardens he was on the blue line all alone he got a standing ovation for minutes and here he is rare footage of him in a Detroit Red Wings uniform when he finished his career and I'll say this from that 76 Canada the cup at Maple Leaf Gardens Nick Lidstrom saw him that night and said you know what I want to be that guy and wore number five that Borja wore that night for Team Sweden and if Borja Salming influenced Nick Lidstrom to play hockey yeah. all of Detroit or is Borja Salming a debt of gratitude what a role model yeah, yeah. Well, the great ones stay with us, and uh, that's certainly true for for Borja Salming. All those uh, those great moments we we have had watching him uh, play hockey, uh, largely with the uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs. And as Ken mentioned, he finished his career as a member of the Detroit Red Wings in the NHL. He was 71. Rest easy now.